Producer Madeline Dames caught up with Montez and Russell to learn more about their careers, their influences, and what it means to be sharing the stage in their hometown. He was um, nice enough to let me play on a few of his records. One that he just like gave me 18 seconds of drumming on. <laughs> but no, I, I think I played on three or four records with Russell. I haven't had a chance to tour with him. And, and he was the cat that really inspired me to move to New York. I was just telling him a story I, I talked to him years ago. I was like, man, you know, tell the guys around New York, man, you know a drummer, you know, that can play all styles and, you know, I'm trying to get some work. He's like, man, I can't tell them that. They, they gonna tell me it's a whole lot of people here that can do that. You gotta move up here. So, you know, he really inspired me to just get into the game. And when I got there, he blessed me, you know. The phone started ringing and the rest is history, my man. When it comes to early influences, both Montez and Russell's thoughts go back to Lincoln Senior High School and band director, Ron Carter. Well, he's definitely my first influence and introduced me to the music. And then of course, started listening to like Miles Davis and different people, Clark Terry. And going back to Mr. Carter, he was always the type of guy that would bring all these guest artists in. So we was always exposed to like, you know, high profile professional musicians. Wynton Marsalis always came to the school. I mean, always. Um, and like I say, we always had like a special guest artist annually to come through and spend time with the band and, um, you know, mentor us and play with us and it's great. Stories could go on for years and years. We have too many to even get into, but the bottom line is, is that he was, he was the father that a lot of people didn't have and he kept a lot of people out of a lot of trouble. East St. Louis was a lot, it, it is now, but East St. Louis was a lot of trouble in the 80s seriously a lot of trouble and for him to keep all of us in that you know in that room and out of trouble on those streets was I mean he deserves to be commended there should be a statue of him in front of City Hall or something like that because he did something that most people weren't able to do. The jazz recording business can be tough just ask Russell Gunn. If you're in it you have to be in it for, for the love for real, and I don't say that to be, you know, cliche. You really have to want to do it. You really have to want to play to even deal with the mess because the quote-unquote jazz business is, is not that fun. It's not that fun at all, so, but. But it feeds your soul. It does, and I was, you know, fortunate, uh, blessed enough to have the, the work, uh, a work ethic that I always want to grow. It won't stop, because I have nothing else to do. I have no job skills, zero. I couldn't get a job anywhere if I tried. <laughs>